Phil Sweeney farms at Takawa and is undergoing a pasture renewal program on his property. Chris Glassy from Dairy NZ is helping with the 18 month long program. So far we've set out to collect pasture growth information from the four different stages of the pastures that are on this farm through the programmed approach to red grassing. We start measuring some of the old pastures that Phil hasn't touched at this stage. Uh, we then measure the lead-in pasture where he has Italian rye grasses and chicory and things like that for 18 months before he grows a crop of turnips. And then we're looking at the new pasture that's re straight after the crop of turnips. And we also monitor some of the newly established pastures two or three years down the track. I'm very happy with the 18 month lead-in system. It's just that we still, our rye grasses that we're putting in at the end just still aren't lasting. The combination of insect pressure, dry spells and the cows just hammering them. We sort of go more fescue. I played around with triple mixes quite a few years ago and those triple mixes are still not looking too bad after six or seven years and they had no endophyte in them in those days and they've actually lasted longer than the ryegrass pastures we've put in. I'm just wrapped with chicory, it's awesome. There doesn't seem to be any insects, diseases that worry it, it's easy to establish. Cows love it and it survives through these dry spells so that's why I'm sort of hoping that fescue, chicory and clover is going to be the perfect mix for our type of farm. One of the things that we have found is that the pasture quality of the uh, new grasses is slightly higher than the old grasses, so we've got higher ME, um, better digestibility, um, and that's been a consistent effect all the way through. One of the downsides of going into a program like this is that you uh, are taking areas out of grazing for periods of time when you could do with the feed. So we wanted to see whether there was enough new grass being generated to cover those deficits. And what, what we found is that there's a, over a period of five years, there's a gradual increase in the farm uh, dry matter yield um, per hectare, you know, given um, that we have ups and downs through drought and all that sort of thing. This farm's been typically growing around 12 tonne of dry matter per hectare in the old established pastures. You can embark on a regrassing program like this and initially you may not get a lot of change, that's what our figures show across the whole farm, but our projection is that five years out you'll be looking at something like 13 tonne per hectare. I'd advise anybody to do it, but you have to stick to the rules. You know, I've just learned so much from doing all this, mixing with guys that are experts in their field. Um, you know, I mean, I've been milking cows for 30 years and I'm still learning new stuff. Well, as a farmer at the moment, I'd be looking at trying to get the heat off because, man, you know, this grass is going to have to recover. A lot of people are. Certainly well, over the last few yeah, years, we've great. worked closely with a few of the farmers that are keen to get involved in a programmed approach. And, uh, you know, the guys that are really involved in that are finding it successful. You know, Phil's very good to work with because he's very organised in what he's doing. So obviously for everybody's benefit, the sit down with the contractor and go through the programme, uh, work out a plan, uh, like and everything, good communication's great. Um, but really everybody know where they're going, what they want. Um, you know, have a game plan. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.